Lars Lexell was born in Fesberg, just outside Gothenburg on the west coast of Sweden in 1907. Serendipity brought him to medical school at the Karolinska Institute. He was not sure of his career choice until he met Herbert Olive Krona. Lexell succeeded Olive Krona as professor of neurosurgery at the Karolinska in 1960. Surgeon must be adapted to the task, and where the human brain is concerned, they cannot be too refined, wrote Lexell and his efforts to this end never retired. On the 30th of November 1939, the Soviet Union attacked Finland. Many Swedes volunteered to help their neighbors. One of them was the 32-year-old Lars Lexell, who volunteered as a neurosurgeon. An outcome of the war was the well-known Lexell Rongeur. Lexell enjoyed the advertisement because he fancied ballet, but he had no part in it. The first application of diagnostic ultrasound for the brain was mainly to detect midline shifts caused by a suspected intracranial hematomas. An echo unit was always available in the neurosurgery residence call room at the Karolinska. Lexell also used stereotactically focused ultrasound to make lesions in the brain. However, the dissipation of energy by the skull bone prevented transcranial procedures. Recent technology has solved this problem. The function of the small gamma fibers of the ventral roots were unknown until Excel found them to be in control of the tension in the muscle spindles. Seventy years ago, Lexell contributed to the finding that action potentials can spread from one neuron to the other at sites of mechanical injury. He also enjoyed fast cars, and many guests of the neurosurgery department experienced a fast ride in his motorboat with some trepidation. Lexell's main contributions to neurosurgery emanated from his arc-centered stereotactic system. Open stereotactic procedures were developed not only for functional surgery, but also for many other applications, such as the treatment of cystic craniopharyngiomas with yttrium 90. Lexell was a pioneer in the treatment of movement disorders and treated hundreds of Parkinson patients with thalamotomy or pallidotomy. A thalamotomy by Lexell. Application of the stereotactic frame. Injecting air for stereotactic pneumoencephalography, marking the position of the anterior and posterior commissures on the stereotactic pneumoencephalogram, preparing for positioning the stereotactic arc with the electrode carrier under moral support, checking the patient's tremor before the thermocoagulation, a final check of the program and attachment of the arc to the frame. An excellent outcome of the procedure can be seen immediately. Lexell coined the term radiosurgery in 1951 and described the multi cobalt unit for radiosurgery in his monograph of 1971. A patient with intractable cancer pain underwent mesencephalotomy by proton beam radiosurgery. At autopsy, the first radiosurgical lesion ever could be macro and microscopically defined. Physics professor Börje Larsson was a long-time collaborator with Lexell in the technical development of radiosurgery. Neurosurgery professor Ladislaw Steiner was the leading emissary for the clinical applications for the gamma knife. November 1967, the craniopharyngioma patient was the first to be treated in the gamma knife prototype. The prototype had 179 cobalt sources in a hemispherical arrangement. Collimator helmets were attached to the head end of the treatment couch. The beam's width could be altered by changing the inner collimator helmet. The stereotactic frame was used to set bearings in the plaster of Paris cap on the patient's head at the correct Y and Z coordinates for the target. 
X coordinate of the target in the brain was aligned to the focal point of the gamma beams at the center of the collimator helmet by inserting trunnions into the bearings of the plaster. A well circumscribed lesion could be demonstrated in the brain of a cancer patient after treatment for intractable pain by gamma thalamotomy. Loris Lexell and his wife Ludmilla now rest at the Protestant cemetery in Rome in the shadows cast by the Pyramid of Cestius. Most of us know Lexell's rondeur, his stereotactic frame, and his concept radio surgery which has revolutionized neurosurgery. But we should remember him as an innovator and explorer who defied conventional thinking. <laughs> <laughs>